Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I reverse engineer my competitors to write the best SEO optimized article and end up out competing my competitors. Now, a few things about this um, strategy. A well op SEO optimized page, um, it does two things very well. It ranks for multiple keywords. It doesn't just rank for one keyword. As you can see here, this is like an example that I've just pulled up. The, on this one page alone, this page ranks for 3,300 keywords and it gets 30,000 traffic. So there's a lot of keywords that this page actually ranks for such as SEO backlinks, backlink, what are backlinks, what is a backlink, what are SEO backlinks, all the different variations this page ranks for. And the second thing as well that isn't very much spoken about is the page should also convert traffic into paying customers. So for example, if you are selling a product or if you're selling a service, you should also worry about the sales copy um, of that page because there's no point getting hundreds of thousands of traffic. But if you're not doing anything with that traffic, that traffic is literally valueless. So just bear that in mind when we are looking at any of these examples. Um, so now, what I'm going to show you guys is the um, article builder. The link for this is in the description. So if you guys do want it, it's completely free to use, um, but this will save you a lot of time. If you also want to do this manually as well, you can do it. I'm going to show you guys both methods, right? So all I've done here is I've just searched what is a backlink and all a lot of these websites, they're fairly relevant. So if I was going to be creating like an SEO blog, um, I would basically reverse engineer all of the subheadings on these pages, right? Um, and basically that's, that's how I would craft it. So if say, for example, if we take a look at MailChimp, right? Um, and if we also create like a, a new Google Doc, so this is the manual way that I'm going to show you guys first. If you then select all of the subheadings, so exploring a simple link network, which I've already copied here, um, what is domain authority, which I've already copied, um, quantity and quality, benefits of backlinks. Um, so these are basically all the subheadings. And then I would then do the exact same thing for the next result. So for example, I would then click onto Moz. Um, I would also maybe even include um, the websites that I'm getting the actual subheadings from. So, for example, the first one was MailChimp subheadings. And then here we're going to do Moz subheadings. Hey, very quickly, if you want results like this dental practice, for example, we took the website from zero monthly visits in November and they are now getting over 750 monthly visits through to their website. They're actually able to generate their own inquiries for the business and they aren't relying on third party um, agencies to generate them leads like they were before or this law firm that we were able to take from 1,100 to just over 2,000 monthly visits through to their website as you can see from the graph or this e-commerce store where we were able to grow them from 7,500 to just over 30,000 monthly visits to their website and it's generating a lot of sales through to their e-com store if you want results like that, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form, see if my team can help. If I feel like SEO isn't suitable for your business, I can also guide you on where you should be spending your marketing budget. But back to the video. And all we're literally doing is we're worrying about where what the subheadings are. So what what are backlink? Uh, sorry, why are backlinks important? Again, once you do this two or three times, you'll actually notice that there is a very um, there's a similarity with everybody's subheadings. So you kind of just need to fall in line with with what everybody else is saying. Um, obviously, if you can bring something of value, you definitely can. But if, if say, for example, you're writing a, an SEO optimized article on how to bake a pizza, there, there's only so many ways that you can actually describe that that thought process or that that um, that actual strategy of baking a pizza, right? So then we've got how can I see the backlinks point to a page? So that's actually quite a good question. I don't even think um, MailChimp had that. Um, what makes a good backlink, good or good or bad? Again, um, quantity and quality when it comes to backlinks both matter. So again, kind of similar in terms of subheadings. And then I would do the exact same thing um, for positions three, four and five and stuff like that. One thing to also bear in mind as well is sometimes the best SEO optimized page isn't actually ranking on um, in positions one 
um because there's obviously different um algorithms that, that google actually plays in so for example the page that's actually ranking here this might actually just be ranking because it's got the most amount of backlinks for example like if i actually just copy this um and if i go into ahrefs and if i go to keyword explorer this is another thing that you know also need to bear in mind. Um, it kind of does fall into a little bit of a minefield, but once you actually understand this, you, you'll you'll know. So, for example, position number one, it has seven thousand four hundred forty-four backlinks. Position number two, it has three thousand. Um, Wix actually have sixty-two. So, I'm going to assume that their um, that their uh, articles are actually pretty decent. Um, and then let's take a look at this one. Mailchimp actually ranks twice for this, but then if we take a look at this, right? So I'm just going to quickly scan through it, and I'll, I'll I'll let you guys know if this is probably the best article or not. So they're talk they've got um, keywords talking about like um, page rank, um, referring domain attributes that influence link types. They, they to be honest, explore niche sites. Backlink FAQ, how many backlinks do I need for my website? What should I do with backlinks? Is building backlinks enough to rank? I don't want to spend time building links. Can I buy them? Um, the secret to winning a link building strategy. Do you know what this, to be honest with you, this, I mean, do these page rank? I mean, they do mention page rank. Um, but they do mention it three, three times. So the, the, the reason why I've just pinpointed page rank is because actually links do actually um they're calculated on page rank it's a big entity to actually include on the page so if just by looking at this very very briefly i would probably say that wix actually does have a much um, more detailed article in certain aspects um in comparisons to actually backlinko so just bear that in mind when you are doing reverse engineering you might also need to take a look at some pages that do have less amount of backlinks or some in some cases pages that are on also on page two as well like if say for example there is a page on page two and it just has zero backlinks i would definitely look at it look at that page because it, it might be super relevant in in comparison to the actual content now in some cases as well you might also need to ignore some websites so for example if i was going to write an art, an seo optimized article on hvac companies in los angeles right if we take a look at the top 10 positions, you, what you'll see is you've got Brody, Pinnell, you've got Forbes, you've got NextGen, HVAC and Plumbing, you've got Yelp, you've got Angie's List. Now, in this scenario here, I would definitely reverse engineer this guy's um, subheadings or this website's subheadings. I would ignore Forbes because Forbes is a massive authority. They could literally write the most garbage content and they would still rank because it's just Forbes, right? That's the that's the one disadvantage that, that we have um, as smaller website owners and stuff. So ignore Forbes. Um, I would also ignore Yelp um, because again, it's a director website. If I'm a HVAC company, Yelp has nothing, nothing in comparison to like the content and stuff like that. They're not talking about, um, they, 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 they just don't have any long form content. So just ignore that. Um, you then also have Angie's List, which again, they are more of a directory. Um, if it does load, yeah, there we go. Um, so again, you can ignore these um, if you're in America. Um, but you've got sites like um, moplumbing.com and the content on this is actually pretty spot on. So like they're talking about um, HVAC maintenance, um, heat pumps, etc., etc. So I would definitely look to grab these um, subheadings um, and paste it onto our actual um, sheet here, right? Um, now, that's been the manual way. It's a very time consuming way because obviously you need to do this for every single page that you actually look to upload through to your website. Now, the quicker way of doing this is with the article builder. Um, I think I've mentioned it before. It is actually completely free to use. I'll have the link to this down in the description. You download it um, and you get a link. Make certain to click on file and make a copy so you can actually edit it. Um, if you don't do that, you won't be able to edit it. But as soon as you make a copy, it's completely free to, to edit. 
Then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pasting in a couple of our competitors. So I just had Backlinko as one of them. If we go back to this um, so a example here, um, what I will do as well is I'll load up Wix and we will just paste in Wix here. And once it is fully loaded, as you can see, what are backlinks, what are the fundamentals, so on and so forth, right? You then have got um, the actual prompt built in. So I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. Now, the prompt at the top here is, here are my competitors, subheadings, can you group them together, similar subheadings and create an out article outline. Um, basically, we're getting rid of any irrelevant subheadings um, and we're creating a monster um, sub or a monster article here, right? So we've got um, the actual full on um, article here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of this and then paste it into our article builder. So there's this actual section here. Um, for all of our subheadings you can also paste in the sources as well so for example in the sources what i would actually look to do is paste in the wikipedia for backlink right and the reason why we're doing that is because it will actually reference anything in here it will crop it will basically if the, the issue you've got with AI sometimes just completely blindly writing your article is it doesn't fact check. Now, the reason why I've built in this sources section is it'll do the fact checking for you. Um, you can also probably paste in the Wikipedia page for SEO as well. Um, so search engine optimization. And if we do, um, if we do, I think it's control enter. And then we've got two different sources. You can add in more. I'm sure that there will probably be a, a, um, a Wikipedia for page rank as well. Um, so these are all entities that we should probably also have on the page as well. So those are our three sources. And then we've got two different questions here. Um, or we've got the actual titles. So I'll populate that as well. So what, uh, what uh, are backlinks? You've got the actual scope of the article, you've got the possible actions for the readers, and you've got the tonality. Now, if you go to the third tab on the actual article builder, it's got the, the actual cheat sheet of what you actually need, right? So let's say, for example, if we were going to be creating this article, this would probably be more of an informational piece. So I'm going to click on uh, informative tonality. Um, and then if we actually go to the scope of the article as well, so the scope is actually what you want the actual, um, what you want the actual person to do. Um, like for example, is it a guide that you're actually writing? Um, so if it's a guide, are you also providing like a PDF or an ebook? Um, well, there's a, as well as I'll actually zoom this in a little bit. So if it's like, for example, an ultimate guide, right? The the call to actions on that page would be like sign up for related webinar course or share the guide on social media, request consultation. Um, if it's like, for example, a service, like if this article or if this page was more so talking about um, HVAC installation, it would probably be more of a service-based article. But in this case, it's gonna be an, an informational article and we're going to also be using the informative tonality as well. Um, informational article and then the actual possible actions as well. So click through to related articles, right? I'm going to keep that because I feel like it's pretty similar. And again, we're just going to copy all of this and we're going to head over to ChatGBT and paste this in. So all of the prompts are actually built into the actual um, article builder so you don't need to worry about doing any extra additional prompts um then we've also just got the actual article being built in here um one thing that i would recommend when it comes to actually writing and uploading this article is you might just want to run it through um certain tools like hemingway if you guys have never used hemingway i highly recommend it because it it actually makes your sentence structure a lot more easy to read for actual Google. So Hemingway, if you've never used it, um, Hemingway, um, it's the Hemingway editor here. And if we actually just uh, copy all of this, right? Um, 
So what we'll do is we'll just copy this article and then we'll just paste it into here. So as you can see, out of the box, it's got a grade 10, which isn't terrible. Um, but there are certain um, sentences that are pretty hard to hear, to read for search engines. Now, this is um, more so help in search engines. So it will tell you like how you can basically um, improve this to get a grade 9. Um, another tool that you can also run the actual um, article through is obviously Grammarly. And Grammarly, I, I love using Grammarly because my grammar is, is absolutely atrocious. Um, but we can basically just copy this content over to Grammarly. And if we just paste that in there, and it's going to tell us any grammar issues. I mean, the, the overall score out of the box is, is, is really good. But if you just want to be a little bit more cautious and you want to just spot check everything, you definitely can do. So it's, it's scoring 96. Um, we can just obviously click on update all. Um, there's certain punctuality that it has obviously got wrong. So for, for example, it's got page. Um, so there should be like a comma here actually. Um, and you can obviously just start slowly improving. As you can see, just by uh, suggesting, or sorry, clicking on two suggestions, we went from 96 to 97. But that is how I build SEO optimized articles from start to finish. Um, you can obviously do this for any different um, industry, like for example, the HVAC um, example that I gave, you could obviously just copy this URL and then just paste it into um, this box here and it'll just grab all of the subheadings here. Um, and obviously you can then just use the exact same prompt here for your HVAC company, or let's say, for example, if you're a law firm or if you're an e-commerce store, this is very, very universal across the entire web. So it doesn't matter if you have a SaaS business or if you've got like more of a local business, this will definitely help. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. And as always, if you guys do want a free 15 minute growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check the link down below or head over to casualdash.com and fill in the contact form. Thanks.